the real reason Osaka is on top form in 2024. In the dynamic world of professional tennis, where narratives of triumph and resilience intersect on the courts, the name Naomi Osaka stands as an emblem of power, precision, and unyielding determination. The year 2024 unfolds with a riveting chapter in Osaka's storied career, one marked by a comeback that transcends the boundaries of sport. Having endured a 16-month hiatus, a period that witnessed the birth of her daughter, Shai, Osaka's return to the Grand Slam arena has become a compelling saga of athleticism, motherhood, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Osaka's resurgence commenced earlier this year in Brisbane, where she marked her first tournament appearance since September 2022. However, it was in the iconic setting of the Australian Open that the true essence of her comeback journey came to light. In a first-round clash against the formidable Caroline Garcia, the 20th seed, Osaka engaged in a tennis duel that not only tested her mettle, but also resonated with the essence of her return. The encounter, though concluding in a narrow defeat with a scoreline of 6-4-7-6-2, six, six, showcased Osaka's unwavering commitment to reclaiming her former glory. The Australian Open serves merely as the second chapter in Osaka's competitive narrative since giving birth to Shai in July. This monumental life event, coupled with a 16-month hiatus, might have stymied the momentum of many lesser athletes, but for Osaka, it has become a canvas upon which she has painted a portrait of resilience. The thunderous applause on Rod Lava Arena echoed not only her powerful forehand, but also the collective recognition of a champion forcing her way back onto center stage. The dichotomy between the expectations of a former world number one and the reality of a post-maternity layoff lays the foundation for a compelling exploration of Osaka's mental and physical fortitude. Beyond the baseline exchanges and precise serves, Osaka's journey is an exploration of self-discovery and acceptance. It is a journey that encapsulates the echoes of internal dialogue, the balance of expectations, and the drive that propels her forward. As we delve into the nuances of Osaka's return, we unravel the layers of her determination, acknowledge the challenges she faces, and witness the transformative power of her journey. The Australian Open might not have unfolded as an immediate coronation, but it certainly set the stage for a year that promises not just a tennis comeback, but the showcasing of the indomitable spirit of an athlete navigating the complex terrain of motherhood and professional sports. Osaka's formidable comeback. Naomi Osaka's marking on her comeback journey earlier this year in Brisbane, the Australian Open served as the grand stage where Osaka unveiled the crescendo of her return. This was no ordinary comeback. It was a testament to an athlete's resilience, navigating the complexities of a 16-month hiatus and the transformative journey of motherhood. The clash against Caroline Garcia in the first round of the Australian Open was not just a match. It was a captivating narrative etched on the courts of Rod Laver Arena. The scoreline may have favored Garcia with a 6-4-7 six victory, but within those points and serves, Osaka's prowess shone brilliantly. Both players engaged in a tennis ballet, producing high-quality first-strike tennis that left the audience in awe. Osaka's heavy weaponry, including her renowned first serve and thunderous forehand, drew gasps from spectators, reaffirming her position as one of the most formidable players in the game and reminding viewers of the armory which has enabled her to clinch Grand Slam events before. What makes Osaka's comeback even more remarkable is the context within which it unfolds. A 16-month break, coupled with the profound experience of becoming a mother to Shay in July 2023, would have been perceived as insurmountable challenges by many. 
However, for Osaka, it merely provided additional fuel for her return. The court, once a battleground, transformed into a stage where she exhibited not just physical prowess, but a mental fortitude that defied expectations. Caroline Garcia, acknowledging the challenge of facing Osaka, emphasized the impressiveness of Osaka's game despite her prolonged absence from the circuit. Osaka's serve, forehand, and the sheer weight of her shots are difficult weapons to neutralize, and Garcia's remarks echoed the sentiments of spectators who witnessed a champion refusing to be overshadowed, either by the sneers of naysayers or the rust of a layoff. The Australian Open showcased not just a tennis match, but a glimpse into Osaka's ongoing mental and physical journey of rediscovery and resurgence. In the grand tapestry of tennis history, Osaka's formidable comeback serves as a compelling chapter that forces us to examine our own expectations and prejudices, and as a powerful narrative that transcends the very essence of competitive tennis and frees our minds from the confines of mechanical racket strokes on the court. It is a symphony in which each stroke and rally narrates a story of resilience, determination, and the unwavering spirit of an athlete who, against all odds, is reclaiming her place at the apex of women's tennis. As the season unfolds, Osaka's comeback is unlikely simply to abandon the momentum already gained, but rather promises to be more than a series of matches. It is an ode to the enduring spirit of a champion, rising from the shadows of a hiatus into the brilliance of the present. Naomi Osaka's return to the tennis courts after a 16-month hiatus is not merely a comeback. It is a profound tale of resilience etched onto the canvas of the sporting world. The hiatus, a result of embracing motherhood with the birth of her daughter, Shai, in July, could have easily derailed the momentum of any athlete. Yet for Osaka, it has become a transformative period, a journey that not only defies the conventional expectations of a sporting comeback, but redefines the essence of triumph beyond the confines of the tennis court. The 16-month layoff, marked by the joys and challenges of becoming a mother, would test the mettle of even the most seasoned athletes. However, Osaka's return to competitive tennis in Brisbane earlier this year marked the beginning of a chapter that transcends the boundaries of sports. The Australian Open, as the second tournament since her hiatus, emerged as the crucible where her resilience was on full display. What makes Osaka's resilience even more commendable is the context in which it unfolds. Motherhood, a transformative and all-encompassing experience, introduces an array of physical, emotional, and logistical challenges. Juggling the demands of a professional tennis career with the responsibilities of a new parent is a delicate balance that Osaka navigates with grace and determination. Her journey symbolizes not just a return to the sport, but a testament to the multifaceted nature of the modern athlete's life. The clash against Caroline Garcia in the first round of the Australian Open was not only a test of tennis skills, but a showcase of Osaka's mental fortitude. The thunderous applause on Rod Lava Arena wasn't merely for the precise serves and powerful forehands. It echoed the collective recognition of a champion who, amidst the hiatus and the challenges of motherhood, refused to let her spirit waver. It is a resilience that resonates beyond the scorelines, reminding us that athletes like Osaka are not only competitors on the court, but resilient individuals navigating the complexities of life. As Osaka grapples with the nuances of her comeback, she emerges not just as a tennis player seeking to reclaim her former glory, but as a symbol of inspiration for those facing challenges beyond the realm of sports. Her journey becomes a narrative of empowerment encouraging individuals to embrace change, overcome setbacks, and redefine success on their terms. Osaka's resilience amidst the layoff becomes a beacon of hope, 
illustrating that triumph is not always measured in victories, but in the courage to face adversity and emerge stronger, both on and off the court. As the tennis season unfolds, Osaka's resilience promises to be a guiding light, illuminating a path for athletes and admirers alike to navigate the intricacies of life's journey with unwavering determination. As Naomi Osaka embarks on her journey back to the pinnacle of professional tennis, the challenges inherent in her comeback transcend the physicality of the game. Beyond the precise serves and powerful forehands that characterized her clash against Caroline Garcia in the first round of the Australian Open, Osaka is engaged in a multifaceted battle against the nuances of returning to elite competition after a pause. In the early stages of her comeback, Osaka is confronted with the task of recalibrating key elements of her game. While her first serve and forehand remain formidable weapons, the intricacies lie in regaining the sharpness on her return of serve, rebuilding her shot tolerance in extended rallies, and fine-tuning her overall movement on the court. These nuanced aspects, often overshadowed by the visible power plays, constitute the subtle battleground where Osaka, the athlete, grapples with the realities of an extended hiatus. Moreover, Osaka's candid acknowledgement of the internal dialogue she faces adds an extra layer to the challenges she encounters. Six months ago, she welcomed her daughter into the world, a significant life event that introduces not only the joys of motherhood, but also a period of adjustment and re-evaluation. The dichotomy between the internal voice pushing for immediate triumph and the rational understanding that returning to peak form is a gradual process reveals the psychological complexity of Osaka's comeback. A noteworthy aspect of Osaka's narrative is her admission of expecting high standards from herself. The frustration of not clinching victories particularly after tasting Grand Slam success, reflects the relentless, competitive spirit that drives her. It is a delicate balance between acknowledging the extraordinary feat of returning to professional tennis after a significant life event and the internal pressure to resume winning at the highest level immediately. As she navigates these challenges, Osaka's self-awareness becomes a guiding force. Recognizing the need to be kinder to herself and incorporating the reminder of her recent journey into motherhood, Osaka epitomizes a resilience that extends beyond the physical realm. Her openness about the learning curve and the importance of being patient with her progress adds a layer of relatability to her story, making her journey not just about tennis, but a testament to the human experience of growth self-compassion, and perseverance. In the grand narrative of Osaka's comeback, the challenges she faces serve as stepping stones, shaping a trajectory toward not just reclaiming her top form, but evolving into a more resilient, self-aware athlete. The complexities of her return become a canvas upon which a multifaceted narrative unfolds, inviting spectators to appreciate not only the power and precision of her game, but the intricate dance between ambition, self-expectation, and the resilience required to overcome the challenges inherent in such a transformative journey. As Osaka continues to confront and surmount these obstacles, her comeback story takes on a richer, more profound dimension that resonates far beyond the lines of the tennis court, revamped schedule and future plans. Naomi Osaka's comeback narrative extends beyond the confines of the tennis court as she meticulously crafts a roadmap for success with a revamped schedule and ambitious future plans. The strategic recalibration of her competitive calendar marks a pivotal juncture in her journey signaling not just a return to the tour, but a calculated pursuit of excellence that promises to redefine her trajectory in 2024 and beyond. In recent years, Osaka faced criticism for what some perceived as playing too infrequently 
despite her peak performances at major events. However, as she emerges from a 16-month layoff and navigates the challenges of motherhood, Osaka stands resolute in her commitment to address critics' complaints by adopting a more rigorous schedule. The decision to participate in more tournaments, starting with her appearance in Brisbane earlier this year, underscores not only her hunger for competition, but reveals her dormant desire to immerse herself fully in the demanding world of professional tennis. The Australian Open, though not culminating in immediate triumph, served as a litmus test for Osaka's revamped approach. Her acknowledgement of the frustration stemming from not clinching victories reveals the unquenchable competitive fire burning within her. It's a frustration that propels her towards a busier schedule as she recognizes the undeniable correlation between increased match play and the sharpening of her game. Osaka's competitive spirit, unabated despite the challenges of her hiatus, propels her to seek more opportunities to prove her mettle on the court. She wants to start thrashing the heavy hitters who have been dominating the women's game in her absence, and there is no time to lose. Next on the horizon for Osaka is a journey to Dubai, a strategic move to gather more match play and fine-tune her skills against top-tier competition. The decision to venture into such a competitive field showcases not only her readiness, but an eagerness to face off against nemesis opponents deep inside the smouldering crucible of elite tennis. Dubai becomes the battleground where Osaka's revamped schedule takes on a tangible form, a proving ground for the improvements that she aims to incorporate into her game. Her candid admission of frustration at not winning matches reveals a nuanced understanding of the difficult learning curve inherent along her path to rediscovering top form. Yet it is precisely this frustration and self-recognition that will catapult her back to the top. The prospect of facing challenges head-on, enduring the highs and lows of a competitive season, becomes an integral part of her trajectory towards success. Osaka's commitment to a far busier schedule is not merely a reaction to external expectations, but a personal drive to maximize her innate potential. As she reflects on her delusions, those powerful beliefs that have fueled her victories in the past, she recognizes the need for day-by-day -day dedication, relentless training, and a plethora of matches to breathe much-needed life force back into her aspirations. The dreams of winning big titles are not distant fantasies, they are tangible goals that Osaka is earnestly working towards with the steely resolve of any self-respecting world number one player. In this revamped schedule and future plans, Osaka isn't merely outlining a series of tournaments, she is sketching a narrative of resurgence, a story of a champion reclaiming her space at the summit of women's tennis. As she embarks on this meticulously planned journey, spectators and fans alike eagerly await the unfolding chapters, hopeful that each match brings her closer to the triumphant pinnacle she aspires to reach. The road ahead is laden heavily with complex challenges and hard-fought victories yet to be achieved, but Osaka's strategic vision and unwavering determination promise a tapestry of triumphs that will resonate far beyond the bounds of the tennis world. As we conclude our exploration of Naomi Osaka's journey, we remind ourselves that it is intertwined with the joys and challenges of motherhood. Having welcomed her daughter, Shai, last July, Osaka finds herself playing not merely for personal satisfaction and triumph, but also for the sake of her child. The mental and emotional toll of balancing professional tennis and motherhood is palpable, as other champions such as Victoria Azarenka and Angelique Kerber have attested, and as seen in Osaka's reflections after various tough moments in Australia. Yet Osaka is learning to navigate the unpredictability of the sport, understanding that victories cannot be guaranteed every week. 
Her determination to be better reflects a resilience and a self-awareness that all emotionally mature champions pride themselves on. In conclusion, Naomi Osaka's resurgence in 2024 is not just a tale of a tennis prodigy returning to the court after a hiatus. It is a narrative of resilience, determination, and balancing the roles of an elite athlete and a mother. The Australian Open might not have marked an instant triumph, but it served as a powerful statement of Osaka's intent, provided glimpses of her prowess, and signaled her commitment to a tough journey towards reclaiming her place at the pinnacle of women's tennis. As she sets her sights on a revamped schedule and faces the challenges of increased match play, Osaka's fans eagerly await each match, hoping to witness the gradual unfolding of her A game, one game at a time. In the grand tapestry of tennis history, Osaka's chapter in 2024 promises to be one of redemption and triumph, showcasing the indomitable spirit of a champion. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Naomi Osaka's illustrious career. As we look forward to witnessing more of her journey, let's celebrate the dedication, the spirit, and the excellence that Osaka brings to the world of tennis. Here's to more years of watching Osaka defy the odds, break records, and inspire us all with an unparalleled love for the game. Thanks for watching today's video. What do you like the most about Naomi Osaka? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, please like and share this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and keep swinging those forehands. We will see you on the court.